Good afternoon everyone, this is Jessica and I am here to bring you your ICC Midday Connection today. I hope that you've been tuning in and that you've been encouraged by this and all of the different ways that we've been able to gather together online in this time of social distancing and isolation. Uh, today I want to share with you something that I remember growing up in youth ministry that stuck with me through many, many years um, that Trevor has said. And that is that God is sovereign and Satan is a punk. I don't think there could be a more perfect time um, to share this because there are so many uncertainties that we face and we know that this is when Satan wants to creep into our minds and use this, but we also know that God is sovereign over every single detail in our life and that he's going to use this for his good even though we might not be able to see it right this second. And there's a story in Acts 12 that I think goes perfectly um, with this and reminds us of God's sovereignty. I studied this in BSF earlier this year and it was a real encouragement to me. Um, and this is a story of when Peter was in prison. So Peter is sleeping in prison and it was the night before Herod was going to put him on public trial when all of a sudden an angel of the Lord appears to him and is like, get up, put on your clothes and sandals and follow me. And so Peter is kind of waking up and he does this and he follows them and in verse 10 it says, They passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened them by itself and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were hoping would happen. So Peter is sleeping so peacefully uh, when he's surrounded by guards and, and in chains. And that's a reminder to me that we can have peace even in the trial. And the other thing that I take away from this passage is that God is going to take care of every iron gate we face, whether that's a literal iron gate that we see in this story, or the iron gate that is the virus, or finances, or just simply being lonely in this time. We can be encouraged by that because we do know that God is sovereign and we know that he is there for us no matter what. And we don't have to fix ourselves to go to him and that he's always going to be there for us. So be encouraged by that this week and know that God is going to take care of us and that you have a family at ICC that is praying for you, that loves you, and can't wait to see you again. Have a great day, everyone.